If you had a generous amount of money right now, what would you be doing to help change the world? Would you be helping people out? Would you be giving people money to, you know, pay their bills? Would you be building some kind of uh, building to feed people, to help people out, to get, keep people warm in these trying times? So just like put it down in the comments. Let me know, you know, what would you do? to help people in the world right now, if you had enough money to help people out. And sometimes your words can help people out just as much as money can. So money isn't always a defining factor, but they always say money is the root of all evil. And I don't believe that. I feel like money will make you more of who you already are. So just leave that in the comments down below and let me know. So, Today, I just wanted to talk about something that was on my mind, and maybe this can be like a progressive series uh, starting right now to talk about uh, workplace, uh, what's good for business, what's bad for business, uh, what can you do to help your business out in times like this to make it more proficient. Even if you lost your business, it's not, it's not even a loss because a lot of people are going to take losses in life. It's in these times right now. What are you going to do? to come back? What are you going to do to change the past to make your present even better than before? And I just wanted to get into a little series and talk about different aspects of jobs. Yeah, I'm 30, but I've been working ever since I was 13. And one thing about me, I've been very observant of every single job I've ever had, the different people uh, that I've been around and the different attitudes, abilities, strengths, weaknesses, management, workers, just the whole the whole shebang of being in a workplace environment because 90 percent of us or a lot of us will work a majority of our lives and have to uh, correspond with tons of people, interact with tons of people, no matter what you're doing. So I just wanted to talk about one particular thing today, then we'll progressively get into a lot of different things into the future. But um, one topic is today is about management. I know it's like a big elephant in the room. People will be like, oh, well, you know, I've been in management before, so I, I know. And I've watched people, how they work, move, especially in jobs that are of service to people. Because when you work at a job that's of service to people, you cannot have management that are all for their own gain. because. They say the workers are the base, but I feel like management is the stronger base because if you have good management that can help guide people in the right direction, help lead people in the right direction, have empathy, compassion for the people that work under them, the people that are under them will work twice as hard in which you shouldn't be working like really hard, but they will put a hundred percent more effort into things. Being in management is not for your own gain. It's not for your own forecast on how you want things done because I think where a lot of companies fail is they see the dollars, but do they see the way the workers are being treated? Do they see the way the management is uh, handling things? Are, are the man, is management conscious about what these workers are going through, what these workers have to do? Are they being very receptive towards a lot of, a lot of aspects of the job? Because I see a lot of companies that have that are flourishing, management has a very conscious and aware ability to connect with the people below them. And these people come to work happy every day. They come to work smiling every day. And I know there's tons of people out there like, well, you got to go to work just to go to work, but you got to do this for a long time. And then you got to come and talk to people. You got to come and be with people all the time and on these different jobs. So why not enjoy your job? But you can't enjoy your job if you got people that are micromanaging you, not doing the right things. Because trust me, there are workers out there that are flat lazy. And I can understand how that can be um, a, a pain to managers to have to deal with people that just don't want to work. They just come to work just to collect the paycheck. But then there's managers like that too. So it kind of goes hand in hand, but the workers are for another video because I can talk about that as well. But I feel like as a CEO and me, as me building my, trying to build my own company, 
And when you hire people, you have to be aware of these individuals that walk through your doors because there's these individuals, I paid attention to it. It's these individuals that walk through the door and they will go out to people, don't even know them at your job. And they'll just like, they're, they're trying to get a job, but they'll come in and they'll just start talking to people like, hey, like it's just like a breath of fresh air. And some people do it just to, you know, make the camaraderie and they can be fake. But that's where I, I say a degree, um, a master's degree, experience, all this other stuff does not correlate to a conscious, aware person that can evaluate people. It is. It, it, I, I don't care about your degree. I don't care about your MBA. I don't care about none of that. Because if you can't consciously evaluate people, if you can't have empathy, if you can't have compassion, you can't have the drive to be a motivator to mankind because you are basically in servitude of these individuals that you are hiring because they want to come to you. They want to they want to feel comfortable. They want to know that they can come to you and talk to you and that you can evaluate and assess the room when you walk into it, if it's something stirred up or you can evaluate certain situations to make them better. That's these type of types of people that need to be in management. These types of people that are out there that aren't given the opportunity because they don't have a certain credential or credential. But one thing they do have that a lot of people don't have is this conscious awareness, how to work. Excellent. I mean, excellent with people. They treat everybody the same. They don't have any favorites. They don't do anything to for their own capital gain. Everything they do is for the gain of the workers to make the company a whole lot stronger. Because then once you got that person that can give these people this confidence and this ability to come to work every day with a smile on their face, it just changes the whole dynamic of the place. Because I've had situations like with like HR, HR managers, they will, they, I've had situations where they come into the job, won't even speak to anybody. That's your job. People need to feel comfortable talking to you. But if you just come in there, zoom past everybody and go in a conference room and just sit down and just like, won't even go talk to anybody, nothing. Why is this individual? Why do you think it's okay for this individual to work for your company? But the presidents and everything did the same thing. So I understand why this individual was in a position that they were in. So that that's just one situation that I have uh, been involved in with working. And, you know, I had another situation that's close to me. It's just, you know, it's people on jobs that work their tail off to help the company grow. So, but then you have people over top of them that get to make the decisions where that person gets to grow with the company and help the company grow in different aspects. So it's always been this like thing that the people that don't do much get to move up and the people that do a whole lot more in the current position that they're in stay there. And I think the mental aspect of it in which people that are higher up CEOs need to pay attention to this within their companies these hiring managers, these HR managers, they all get together and they have this like collective idea like, hey, this person is getting tons of sales and they're making our company flourish, you know, but if we move them up to a manager, who's going to get all the sales? So that's like the wrong attitude to have. You should not have that attitude when you're in management. And that's just the total wrong direction. You take that individual who is just doing flat out everything and killing it for your company. And you move them up to show everybody else how to do what they're doing. If that person is a person that is good with people and a person that is like excellent at what they do, they can train everybody else how to do what they do and do what they do, do what they do. So everybody can flourish at the same time. But it's like, if you got people that are lazy and don't want to do the right thing and they just have their own agenda behind what they want to do those aren't great people that you should be moving up and it's like countless times you hear stuff about these people you hear that these people aren't doing the right thing and you still move them up over top of that person that is flourishing at their job and this is like a tricky situation because some people are like well you gotta do this you know that people have their own ideas of what they think how a company should run but I'm, I'm just telling you now, 
these there's tons of people out there that are excellent. I mean, excellent with people. And these are the people you need to hire. I, I can't be, my mind can't be changed on this, you know, because I've just seen too much good. And it's like, ton, and I've been in too many jobs where the individual that, or um, store manager or somebody that's the highest in the company at their position get gets chopped down first because they're all about the people around them all about the people around them. I had a count, I had a, a situation where, you know, I had a store manager and he would always come to me and talk to me about just like life, things in general, ask me what I need, just told me, you know, all these different things that I could keep in my mental book in my mind for as I progress in life. And you know what? He got chopped down, put somebody else in front of him and the guy was, a com the uh, next guy was a complete you know what and people just start quitting left and right quitting left and right couldn't left and right and yeah people that have been working there seven eight years and it's just like people think that that's what needs to happen within a company but in the long run your company does not last when you keep on doing these things yeah you might keep on making money and you'd be like well i'm just getting stuff done oh, i'm doing this doing that but it does not last i'm telling you right now it doesn't last so if you think it does last and you're an owner of a company you need to check what you're doing because I'm trying to tell you, I hate to be the bearer of bad news and you come back and watch this video five, 10 years, 12 years from now, and you didn't lay the right guidelines for your company down for people to flourish and you fail and you fail when it's at a point where it ain't no return. So that was just a video. I'm going to do workers next, you know, the met, the mindset of a worker, how you should be when you enter a job, how you should treat people, treat people around you, do the right things, because everything goes hand in hand. Everything goes to, together to be a well-oiled machine. So wait for the next video. I'm still doing the giveaway. Don't forget about that. And we're just going to make this thing happen this year. The year isn't over yet. And I know there's a lot of things going on, but we're going to make it. Everybody is going to make it. Everybody is going to be successful. And the ones that haven't made it, to the end of the year, you know, you still are here, you know, you still are on a lot of people's minds and people should use you as a motivation to make this thing keep happening. Be strong, be an individual that stands in your own light and shines it on a whole lot of people around you and just be there, be there for yourself, be there for the people around you and let's make this thing happen. Thank y'all for watching the video. If you stay for 12 minutes, Appreciate y'all. 13. I'll talk to y'all soon.